You know what that music means. It's been 178 days since Sacramento Kings played meaningful basketball, and that streak, friends, that stops tonight as the Kings kick off their season. It all starts in less than an hour. Now, keep in mind, expectations are a bit higher this year, mm -hmm. and ABC 10's Kevin John is live in the studio with a closer look at what to expect tonight, Kevin. Chris, I just got one question for you guys. Who's ready to light the beam tonight? <laughs> now, it's been said that the Kings have the loudest and proudest fans in the whole NBA. And truth be told, those fans were likely the win beneath the wings for the Kings' success last season. Now, our very own Matt George is in Salt Lake City right now for tonight's game. And best believe, those Kings fans made the trip to Utah. Matt? One of the telltale signs of being a good NBA basketball team is how well your fans travel with you. Now, we know Sacramento Kings fans are everywhere, but they showed up in force tonight at the Delta Center for the Sacramento Kings season opener against the Utah Jazz. I caught up with a few of them before they entered the arena. Everyone's saying we won't surprise nobody this year. Well, everyone's dissing on us, you know, so... I'm saying we're still going to surprise people with how good we are this year. And, bro, I'm, I'm excited. I've been looking forward to this date for a while. Dude, I'm super excited. I'm ready to light the beam, especially tonight. I can't wait for it. First time Jazz's like, catchphrase is take note. Hopefully they take note of the beam tonight. I expect a championship. Go all the way. Darren Fox is going to carry us. He'll be an all-star, MVP candidate. I think the Kings will win. I think it'll be close. It always is with the Jazz. and never gets too much separation, but I think the Kings will pull it off. Because we're the best. Light the beam. Light the beam. Go Kings. You can see the sea of purple shirts behind me. They're going to be given out to fans in attendance tonight. Maybe that was a tactical decision by the Utah Jazz to hide the Kings fan presence. But I promise you they are very much here, Kevin. Thank you, Matt. And like I said, those Kings fans definitely know how to travel. We were at FanFest over the weekend, and the excitement, the energy, the exhilaration just running through that arena was second to none.